We go to Lenape Valley High School for this key Freedom Division clash, and Kittatinny takes a 2-0 lead off the good look from Jen Castelline. Elise DiPaolo scores to help the Cougars draw first blood. We watch Marissa Quagley of Lenape Valley with the steal, as she takes it all by herself, and she's fouled for the three-point play, and it's 7-4 Lenape Valley. Then watch Quagley pick up three points from beyond the arc, as she takes the kick out and knocks down the tray to make it 12-5 Lenape. And Lenape Valley takes a 14-5 lead after one quarter. Watch Megan Price drive the lane and she gets it to fall. And the Pats have a surprising nine-point lead. Okay, second quarter we go and watch Kelsey Koch with the nice skip pass to Nicole Colella, who squares up and buries the three-pointer for Kittatinny, which now trails 14-8. Now watch the Cougars work the offensive glass as Jen Casterline finally sticks it in for Kittatinny. And it's a one-point game, 14-13 Lenape Valley. And the Cougars cap the comeback here, watch Nicole Corella kick it out to Kelsey Koch on the left wing who buries the tray, and Kittatinny goes up 16-14. The Cougars are on the run again, watch Nicole Corella feed Kelsey Osborne who knocks down the baseline jumper for the Cougars as they go up 22-19 at the half in this battle of undefeated Freedom Division teams. Alright, third quarter action again, it's Elisa Palo on the offensive boards. She kicks it out to Kelsey Osborne, who delivers the three ball, and Kittatinny goes up 25-19. Now watch this nifty little move by Marissa Quagula as she hits the runner in the lane, and it's a one-point game, 25-24 Kittatinny. And Quagula gives Lenby Valley the lead here off the dish from Lindsay Sabo. Quagula drains the three, and the Pats go up 30-28. What a game. But Kittatinny retakes the lead here. Thanks again for the great work by Elise DiPaolo on the boards as she converts and the Cougars go up 32-30. And the Cougars cap the quarter with another three. Off the inbounds, it's Ali Nowotnik to Nicole Colella who cans the catch and shoot three and Kittatinny holds a seven point lead, 37-30 after three quarters of play. Okay, Lenby Valley looks to cut into its deficit and the Pats do. Off the miss, it's Mercer Quagler with the jumper and the Pats trail by three, 39-36. And Melissa Rabe, who had a good night, makes it a one-point game here, 39-38, on the inbounds play as she hits the little jumper for the Pats. Okay, the Pats are looking to tie it here, and they do. Watch Marissa Quagula hit this long-distance three-pointer from the top of the arc, and we are tied at 41. Big bucket right there. But watch the answer for the Cougars as Nicole Colella feeds Kelsey Koch, who knocks down the huge tray, and Kittatinny takes a 46-41 lead late in the fourth quarter. Big shot there for Koch, who finished with 12 points. And then Nicole Colella caps the game here as she hits a couple of free throws as the Kittatinny Cougars rally for a big 46-43 win over the Patriots as James Green gets the post-game reaction. It means a lot. We've never, ever been first for our school, and it just feels amazing to just have first place in the Freedom Division. And this is a really big game. They were 4-0. We were 4-0 in the Freedom Division. You know, we needed to win this game, and we came out hard. It's really good. Now we're in first, so we should be able to take it the rest of the way and hopefully win it over. Well, first quarter, they obviously came out, and they handed it to us. I mean, they weren't joking around. Um, we basically on the bench were just saying to keep our composure. We needed to stay calm because we knew that if we lost our, lost our calmness, things would not get better. So we just wanted to stay calm, work through our offense, relax, turn to, cut down the turnovers. We had a couple turnovers in the uh, first quarter that cost us some big plays. So we just wanted to stay calm. That was our main thing on the bench, uh, staying calm. Wow. <laughs> no, it was a great game. It was a great game. You know, Close all the way through, you know, they, they took a lead, and we had a really good second quarter. Um, our big guys came up big at the end. You know, the kids who are experienced and been around for a couple of years, they, they made it big. Kelsey Koch hit that three, huge shot, huge shot, but that's what she does. She's just a great player. Kelsey Koch scored 12 points in the ball game for Kittatinny, but three points were none bigger than the big shot she hit towards the end of the ball game that eventually led to the Cougar victory. We were up by three with about, um, I want to say, a minute left-ish. And uh, they hit that big three right before that possession. And so basically, we were just trying to not let them shoot. And they hit that three. So we came down the court. We didn't really have a play or anything. Um, Nicole Colella came down, came down the middle, drove down, saw me in the corner, dished it out. And I just shot. I knew we needed it. There was, the clock was running down. So I took the shot and uh, went in. So. Now at 5-0 and in the division, Kittatinny knows they can't take anything for granted. Just ask head coach Andy Myers. 
We won't rest on any laurels, I guarantee you that. You know, our practice will be just as hard as they've been. The kids will work just as hard. We, you know, we, I always tell the kids, we're, we're not really as good as we can be. You know, we can always be better, and we're not, we're not good enough to look past anybody. So, you know, and they, they all understand that. So, we, you know, we won't have a, we won't have a letdown. This was a must-win game for us. We knew that. Uh, they gave us a great game, obviously. We didn't play our best, and we still came out on top. So I think keeping our composure was a big thing. Our, this game was huge to us. We needed to win it for the division. Um, we just got to keep, keep it up for the rest of the season.